By the video request of Tom Possessed, he wanted to see a white bird with a yellow crest. As of such, we're gonna have an entire video about my little white friend. Now seriously, today's video request is... is evil rational. Without further delays, let's get this video rolling. dictionary defines rational as based on or in accordance with reason or logic. Evil, by any normal definition, is intentionally causing others to suffer. Very few people, and probably nobody actually, is fundamentally evil in the sense that they understand what the suffering of others is, and they understand what they're doing, and their goal is to create suffering, even at the expense of themselves. Most acts of evil are usually a result of selfishness and a disregard for the well-being of others. The other main reason people commit acts of evil is a result of philosophical ignorance. So, for example, many people would do evil things thinking they're doing something good because of some kind of ideology. So if we were to build a moral code that is principally devoted to evil, this would build a society that optimizes the suffering of everybody inside it, and that would be completely irrational because human beings are programmed to want to feel pleasure. Today there's this common stereotype that everybody who's smart is evil and conspiring to destroy everybody else, and I think that's a very inaccurate perception. This is largely because stupid elites who aren't actually smart and are very insecure in their intelligence want everybody to think they're smart, so they simply just redefine the word intelligence to mean elite. I would say the exact opposite is true. People who are very philosophically intelligent or educated tend to usually be on the nice and understanding end of things. The first major concept that people who are philosophically intelligent understand is the fragility of mortality, in that the human body is a very fragile object. Thus, if you have, let's say, even 10 people who are principally devoted to destroying you and ending your life, there's a very good chance they'll inflict serious harm. To an extent, karma is true. However, it is much more complicated than this because it is possible to create a moral code that treats certain people absolutely horrible and it provides uh, complete safety and security to another group of people. An example of this is let's say the majority of people in society agree to raise a slave class of people. These people are just born and raised inside prisons and they use them for medical experiments to promote scientific progress. Well, this would be beneficial to the majority at the extreme expense of the minority. So let's say you lived in that society and there's no chance of you being one of those uh, prisoner minorities. Well, would it be rational to promote a moral code like this, which is going to have more scientific progress that benefits you, versus a society that treats this minority with respect? Now I'm going to bring up one of my logic models from one of my previous videos here. And I want you to imagine that there's a big red button, and this button is called... Lucifer's button, and whenever you push this button, it's guaranteed to make you feel ever so slightly better, and you can push this button as many times as you want. However, there's a catch. The catch is that every time you hit the button, it causes a catastrophic amount of suffering to someone else. So for example, it burns somebody to death in a horrible way. But you have to remember that no matter what, overall, you're going to feel slightly better every time you hit that button. Well, logically speaking, is there really any reason to not just keep hitting that button an infinite amount of times? In this case, I don't like to say it, but I guess I have to admit that it would be rational to uh, keep hitting the button. However, fortunately, reality doesn't usually work like Lucifer's button, and a more accurate description of reality would be like this. Imagine the following situation where you have two people and and a green button this time, all right? Now, if you hit this green button, it's gonna cause one point of suffering in the first person, and it's gonna reduce 100 points of suffering in the second person. Anytime an action improves the quality of how people feel more than it harms, then this interaction is um, morally profitable. If everybody in society commits to moral profit, then the probability of everyone's life improving goes up dramatically. This, however, brings us to the next major problem of if you're the only guy in society trying to do what's right, 
then is it still logical to be moral? Well, the answer to this question depends entirely on how good it makes you feel to make other people feel good. For some people, they would be happier being self-sacrificial and making other people feel good, even if uh, it's at the expense of themselves. Now, if you are a sociopath, I would say it's less rational to be moral, but it's still overall rational because, again, if we're living in a society that commits to uh, moral profit, that moral profit is going to reciprocate and benefit you overall a million fold. The next thing I'd like to look at is the emotions and motivations of morality. Just because we can decipher logically what's moral, uh, that doesn't mean that we can actually do it as human beings. We actually need some type of motivation in order for any type of action to be sustainable. Moral interaction is motivated largely by love and compassion, and when we do actions that are totally in contrary to love and compassion, over time this starts to erode our um, moral motivation. So based on all these factors, I would say that any moral interaction which is highly unprofitable is generally going to be irrational. So of course we're going to need to find a healthy balance for investing in moral profit. If we invest all our time and effort into moral profit, chances are we're going to be giving way more than we're going to be receiving and this is unfair to the person who's doing it. And on the other end of the spectrum, if we don't invest in moral profit at all, we're going to live in a terrible, terrible world where people pluck out our eyeballs for fun. When investing in moral profit, there's something important to remember. You could create a thousand points of suffering in yourself to relieve a thousand and one points of suffering in someone else. This is not a very profitable interaction. Or there's going to be other scenarios where you could create one point of suffering to yourself to relieve a million points of suffering in someone else. So the first thing when dealing with moral profit is to maximize the efficiency of the profit. And of course, the second thing you want to consider is the level of feedback. If you live in a society where everyone's a completely selfish douchebag and you're the only person committing to moral profit, well then, it doesn't really make much sense unless, you know, you're making some type of moral progress and changing these people's attitudes. So, if, you know, you're in a situation where everyone around you is completely selfish asshole, then uh, moral interaction is not rational. It's rational to be completely selfish. And the other situation where it's going to be rational to be evil is in the case of Lucifer's button, and there are some situations in reality which might resemble Lucifer's button, but as I always say, again, you want to focus on the emotional motivations of um, doing good, right? And when we hit Lucifer's button and that becomes our habit, well, then it becomes very hard to commit to um, moral profit. If you like my video, share them, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever. And if you have a video request of your own, leave in the comments below. I do every video request, usually, I think. This was a video request, and if I missed any of your video requests, because I think I did miss a couple, uh, just post it again in the comments below, and I'll uh, get around to doing that. What do you think? Think evil's rational? Leave your opinion in the comment below.